Wild About the Zoo is presented by the Hutchinson News in partnership with the Hutchinson Zoo. Hi, welcome to Wild About the Zoo. I am Adam Stewart with the Hutchinson News and with me today is Zoo Director Ryan Van Zandt. Hi Adam. Uh, and who do we have here today? This is Tip and Tip is an African pygmy hedgehog. So are there larger hedgehogs uh, if it's a pygmy? Yeah, there are other species of hedgehogs. The European hedgehog is a little bit bigger than this guy, but uh, th this is as big as they get, and uh, they're often they're, they're seen uh, sometimes in the pet industry here in the United States, but uh, she's part of our education animal team that travels out to schools and groups around uh, the area and teaches more about uh, animals that we have here at the zoo and, and around the world. It has some very, very spiny uh, hair. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's got spiny uh, hairs on her that uh, right now she's really comfortable so you can see they're laying down and actually you can go ahead and pet her back there if you like. It feels kind of like a rough coarse hair. It's not really spiny Very at all. Coarse. Yeah, but if something uh, frightens her or if she feels nervous at all, she actually rolls up into a little ball, which she normally would show in a heartbeat, but they completely roll into a ball, tuck their head in and everything, and they crisscross those spiky hairs, and uh, they're really sharp and uh, pretty painful if you touch them at that point in time. I assume that's a defense mechanism. What kind of animals uh, does a hedgehog need to protect itself from? Well, out in Africa, there's lots of different predators, birds of prey, uh, mammalian predators, just about anything that... Uh, each other animals would see a hedgehog maybe as a potential source of food, but uh, those spines do a pretty good job of keeping those predators off of them. So uh, uh, a predator has to be pretty smart and pretty cunning to be able to pick off a hedgehog for dinner. Okay. Uh, what, what do hedgehogs eat? Hedgehogs are insectivores, so that means that he's mainly eating insects, and uh, they've got a really strong sense of smell, not the best eyesight in the world, but that sense of smell is really good for finding different rodents, and then they, uh, they gobble them up. It looks like a human slurping spaghetti when they get a hold of an earthworm. It's pretty cute. On the belly, they're, they're not all spines. His belly's pretty soft. You might be able to stick your finger in there and get a nice touch of his belly there. Nice. He's still kind of coarse hair, he's but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, but not nearly as, as sharp as the the outer uh -huh. And there he was demonstrating that ability to tuck themselves up inside there uh, and, and really protect themselves. They just turn into a ball of spines. What sorts of animals are hedgehogs related to? Are they related to porcupines? They're definitely not related to porcupines, and I'm sure Jessica can tell us a lot more about who hedgehogs are related to. They're actually in their own group. They're not closely related to any other type of animal that we typically think about. But there are 23 different species of hedgehog. Okay, so it's a family that isn't uh, doesn't have any extended relatives, but lots of brothers and sisters. Yeah, has a thorny relationship with other animals. <laughs>